There are always a few settings that I always change when I get a new Mac. And this time I am showing you the 15 insanely useful Mac settings that will boost performance, eliminate clutter and help you unlock your Mac's full potential. Whether you are a student creator or just want a smoother workflow, these hidden tweaks will instantly make your Mac life 10x better. So let's dive into the video. Finder is the app that you use to browse files and folders on your Mac. So let's make it more useful and easier to navigate. I'll explain how to do it. So first you need to go to finder, click on finder settings, go to sidebar tab. Here you will see a list of folders and options you can show or hide in the sidebar. I recommend turning on folders like documents, desktop, airdrop and external drives you use and uncheck movies, music and pictures. So the second setting that you need to change is change the default folder which the finder opens to. So for that you need to go to finder, click on settings, go to general and in new finder window show over here, you can change the folder. So for example, if I select desktop and open finder, it would automatically open the desktop folder. You can select your favorite folder. Now every time when you open finder, it starts in a place that makes sense for you, not a random list. So the next setting which you need to change is turn on file extensions. So basically this way you can see what type of file you're looking at, whether it's a PDF, JPEG or MOV or MP4. It is super useful when editing or sharing files. So you need to go to finder, click on settings, click on advanced and in show all file name extensions, you need to check this box. So now you can see all the file type is now visible. These videos are .mov files, this is a PNG and this is JPEG. And if I disable this, you can see it's not showing all the file name extensions. So you always need to check this box, which is super useful for you when you're editing videos or sharing files. The next setting I'm going to show is how to open new, a new tab in Finder. So for that, you need to press Command plus T and so you can see it would open a new tab. So just like using tabs in a browser, you can switch between folders without opening a lot of windows. So in the next setting, I'm going to show you how you can customize the toolbar of the finder. So first you need to go to finder, click on desktop. And after opening the finder, I'm in a folder called as Mac. So in this folder, as you can see, you can see all the files, but you cannot see when it, the file is created and the size of the file. So make the view more easier, you can customize this toolbar and change the view. So for that you need to click on customize toolbar and you can drag and drop this into the toolbar. And over here you can see the view icon has appeared and in view you need to change from as icon to as list. Click on this as list and now you can see when the file was created, modified and the size of the file and kind of the file. It makes it much easier to view the file details now. So when you move deep into the different subfolders and you get confused in which folder you were, what you can do is you can go to view and click on show path bar. And over here you can see below, it shows the path from where you came from. You can easily navigate between the folders from here. So the next setting allows you to see the storage left. So for that you need to go to view, click on show status bar and you can see there are 10 items in this folder and 9.84 GB storage is available. To make the toolbar more clean, click over here, right click and click on customize toolbar and whatever things you don't require you can get rid of. For example, I don't use group, tags. So I'll just get rid of it and over here you have the share icon. I'll also add the airdrop icon and click on done. So you don't make much easier for me to airdrop the files. I can click on the file and click on airdrop. And in this toolbar you can see there is a search button. So if I click on search, it would search the entire Mac. So I don't want this. I want only to search this folder. So for to do that, what I can do is go to finder, click on settings and 
when performing a search you can see it said to search this mac i'll change it to search the current folder you might have noticed that when we open a file such as song it would automatically open with apple music so to change that what you can do is you can right click on the file click on get info and over here in open with you can change it from apple music to quick time player and the next setting i'm going to show you is how to use and customize widgets on your mac and how they can make your life easier and more organized so widgets are small helpful tools that live on your mac's notification center they show you information at a glance like weather calendar events reminders battery status and more so to open your widgets move your mouse to the top right corner of the screen and click the date and time in the menu bar notification will slide in and you will see widgets right there so you can see all the widgets right here in the bar and over here you can click edit widgets and add the widgets you want so here you can find the different widgets which is, which you can add here and click on done once you have added the widgets so for me i use calendar reminders and i don't need this time so i'll just remove that from the widget section and you can also add widgets to your desktop so for that you need to right click on the desktop click on edit widgets and over here what you can do is click on calendar so first i'll add the calendar you can also add weather so once you have the widgets on the screen and you click an app you can see the widgets are monochrome and if you don't want this to happen what you can do is you can go to settings after clicking on setting you need to go to desktop and dock and over here you need to scroll down to widgets and here you can choose the widget style you can set it to automatic or monochrome and full color so if you set it to automatic when you click a app the widgets will be automatically monochrome or if you set it to full color the widgets would remain in full color even if you switch between the apps so now i'll show you the best dock settings to make your mac look cleaner run smoother and feel more personal so first what you need to go is you need to right click and click on dock settings in dock settings you can change the size of the dock you can decrease and increase the size and if the magnification is off you can turn on magnification so what this basically does is you can hover above the icons and you can see it's a smooth fun animation and it also makes it easier to click on the right app you can also change the dock position from here so now it's at the bottom of the screen you can change it to left of the screen and if you keep it on the left side it's cleaner and it gives more vertical space on smaller screens like macbooks but if you're using a display you can keep it at the bottom and if you want a cleaner look you can make the dock disappear when it's not in use so for that you need to enable automatically hide and show the dock so it would clear the screen space and the dock slides back and when you move your mouse to the edge at the bottom you can see the dock would slide up so sometimes the dock can get crowded and let's clean it up so you need to right click on any icon for example i don't want reminders on my dock so you can right click go to options and you can choose this option remove from dock and now you can see the app is removed from the dock and you can also customize the minimize window effect you can change how windows minimize into the dock so what you can do is in minimize windows into application icon you can also change the animation of the minimize window so if i click on this app you can see it's much snappier because i have chosen the scale effect and if i turn this into genie effect when i minimize the window you can see this animation so i prefer the scale effect because it feels snappier especially good on older macs one more option on your dock which is called as hot corners if you click on this you can add various applications which you want quick access to for example i have chosen quick note so what this basically does is if i hover on this left side or right side and bottom side you can see a quick note appears 
So if you look at the menu bar, you can see the battery percentage is not displayed over here. So to enable this, what you can do, you can go to system settings and go to the control center and scroll down and over here in battery section, you can enable the show percentage. So now you can see the battery percentage. So you also need to change a few settings of a trackpad. For that you need to go to system settings, scroll down and over here you click on trackpad. You can change the trackpad speed from here. So the next setting I want to change in system settings is to refine the spotlight search. So for example, if I type calculator, so along with the calculator app, you can see other suggestion PDF documents, it would search from websites, folders, I don't want all this clutter. So to refine this, you can go to system settings, scroll down, click on spotlight and over here you can disable the website's tips, spreadsheet, CD session, presentation, PDF documents, disable all the things which you don't need. So you need, don't need. Uh, if you want to search for folders, you can keep this enabled. Otherwise, for this example, I'll uncheck the box. And now if I search for calculator, you can see only the calculator app and the spotlight search is less cluttered and more refined. So you can uncheck the boxes which you don't want to appear in the spotlight search results. Setting that you can change is you can go to touch ID and password and over here you can add your fingerprint which is helpful to unlock your Mac. You can also make purchases with Apple Pay, iTunes Store, App Store and Apple Books using the fingerprint. So the next setting I am going to change is go to system settings and over here you can go to displays and here you can turn off true tone true tone automatically adapt display to make colors appear consistent in different lighting conditions so if you are doing video editing or something like that you need to disable true tone if you want accurate colors you can turn on this which would automatically adjust the brightness and color profile you can change from here and you can also turn on night shift and on the schedule you can enable sunset to sunrise so what night shift does is it automatically shifts the colors of your display to the warmer end of the color spectrum after it is dark so i'll just enable this the next setting that i would change is i'll go to the lock screen in the lock screen the screen saver is automatically set to two minutes which is not enough for me i'll change it to five minutes so after five minutes of inactivity it the screen saver would be turned on so that's it for this video. These small changes in the Mac settings can make a big difference in your everyday life. So if this video helped you, please give it a like and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more useful Mac and tech tips, subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching and see you in my next video.